hello 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 welcome back to 31 days of halloween day five day six day six yes with a clean face kind of half of my face has makeup on it half of it doesn't the top half already does um because i'm going to actually just be drawing some you know the mask and today we are doing scorpion i told you guys or asked you guys in my last video or two videos ago who you think my favorite character is and it's scorpion <laughs> i love this character so much i think out of all of the characters when they do movies and or these games they emphasize his character so much so there's a lot of backstory there's a lot of stories that we know and i'm mostly kind of a lot of his um his look are very similar it's just the mask changes depending on you know what level you're on which game you're playing but you can't go wrong drawing the mask you could just do yellow and a couple of black lines as long as it looks like a mask it still looks like scorpion people will be able to know so any iteration of scorpion as far as makeup goes i think you can't really go wrong but here i am using um colors that you will find in his outfit um and that's and like i said it depends on the game and what version you're playing but most likely it's going to be yellow hint of red and a really 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 really, really dark brown um some blacks uh so what i'm doing here is orange and yellow and olive you guys don't see that but i am blending a lot of colors that you would see in his outfit a lot um and i'm just making sure to make sure that you can also see that as well because <laughs> it was a lot of blending going on and i just wanted like good contrast like here i'm adding the black eyeliner it just this black to me is what really 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 ties the look together honestly um you guys will see as i go it, it really <laughs> it really does help it helps it come together um there are some parts i was just the, the eyeshadow base i used there i don't know if it's because it didn't finish drying when i put eyeshadow on but it started to be patchy and those eyeshadow colors are eyeshadows i've had for a while and they're amazing so i don't know if you guys can see but i noticed it took me a long time because i kept trying to fix it and here i am doing it's not really a wing, but it is a wing because I'm doing the tip of his chain. <laughs> That's why you also see a little bit of the orange peeking through there because when he's like striking or striking anything, you can see, I want to say it's fire because when he also comes from the ground, it's fire. Um, a couple of characters in the game, they're fire based, so... I feel like you guys might have seen something similar like this already. But I wanted to do the tip of his chain. So it's just more like a, it'll slice you, <laughs> slice and dice. And honestly, I'm covering one eye to make sure I really like where I was going with the look. Um, That thumbs down was for the eyeshadow base because this eye that I did off camera, it gave me such a struggle because of the base. And I knew I was going to use these eyeshadows because they're eyeshadows that I've I've worn them so many times and I never have a problem. But I think maybe because I didn't let the base dry, I don't know, but it was patchy and I kept having to fix it. It was just really annoying and yeah, but I decided to do a mask because I did a face chart all of these looks that you guys are seeing i've done a face chart like a very very rough draft and i was like you know today is gonna be one of the days i actually do something besides like you know eyeshadow or quote unquote pretty look so that's why i opted for this uh today to do the mask and because he's my favorite character i was like let's do a little let's go a little extra let's do a little oomph okay give it a little <laughs> give it a little oomph um i'm actually really excited to move on to other looks because like i love the game and i love the characters that i'm picking 
and that I'm doing. Um, but I'm like really excited to like explore other looks that I've written down because all of these things, like I mentioned in previous videos, um, I already pre-planned this, especially this week, this first week. I already knew this is what I was doing. It's just a lot of things happened last minute where I'm like, oh my God, I have to rush and do all of these things. Anyway, I'm using different shades of yellow to give it um, depth and kind of like discoloration. I didn't want it to be too perfect. Um, if you were to, I would say, honestly, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I feel like his character is one of the easier ones because you could just buy the outfit and it comes with the mask and you could just do the eyeshadow the way I did it and forget about painting your whole face because this is very time consuming what I did yesterday with the gemstones and this because if you just put the yellow on it's very flat it doesn't come to life until you start shading and adding things and that's what I did here so it took me a while I had to map out stuff I had to shade in fade stuff out I didn't want a harsh line of like black um, and brown I just wanted it to be feathered in so a lot of it is like um I maybe want to say sloppily maybe maybe but I really just was blending everything and I wasn't using there was I don't think there was a time I used a stiff brush everything was a blending brush so everything could be like blurred and like just blurry to each other so here I'm using a small um fluffy blending brush to make sure I get just like an outline like a map <laughs> I was gonna say a map but just like an outline of what I wanted it to be and then I went in to diffuse everything and started shading it in um and it's basically the same thing that I did for the other side I just matched what I did on this side to the other one and then this is where I started going in with like bits and pieces of details so here you can see i used a little bit of a darker yellow that had, it was a yellow with an orange base some of the compared to like the yellow that i have on my eyelid you can see the difference that that's a little brighter um so i was just playing with all the yellows that i had um some of them were a little bit more orange base like i said some of them was like muted some of them were brighter so i was mixing all of those shades to give like a highlight and contrast and some shadows and just making sure I'm blending everything together so if I didn't put the um the base down the yellow would just look it would just look ashy I would look weird so that's why it pops on my face because I use the white base and once it dried a little bit um I went in with the yellow but here I am just like you guys probably didn't see it but I have mapped out that on my face before, like very, very light eyeshadow. And then I'm looking down at my um, and my face chart that I drew because I wanted to make sure I did it exactly the same way and don't deviate from that because then I'll just start getting carried away, being extra dramatic. And I would have <laughs> I would have sat there for a long time doing extra, extra, extra details. And this look was already taking so long for me to do. Like you guys can't tell, obviously, because this is very... <laughs> It's very fast forwarded, but um, I just traced it and here I'm going to add white eye eyeshadow to add a little bit of brightness because I've already added some browns, some oranges to give it a little, like you guys can see, it's not just one straight color. I've added some dark browns just to give it highlight and contrast. And I didn't want to do, y'all, I did not want to bring this down my neck, <laughs> like, because that's something you can do. You could just, and down the neck would have been black and no, but if I were going out, I would just, honestly, I would just buy an outfit. I'm just, <laughs> and I have to like save all of my special effects makeup for Halloween. Cause that's when like the Halloween week, that's when I get hired the most for Halloween looks, obviously. And, um, just not that I'm running out anytime soon. Y'all, I just did not want to draw anything on my body. I don't know. I have to like be in the mood and this was also later in the day if it was much earlier in the day I think I would have went all out because this is my favorite character okay um so here I've basically finished all of my outline now I just go in add more shadows 
add more highlights, add a little bit of browns, oranges, lighter yellows. Um, I did the tip of my nose last because um, I didn't want it to get oily. So here you can see now that I've mapped everything out, I'm just now adding the yellow. If I had done it right away, it would have been oil because that's where I get oiliest first. And I just didn't want it to like just sit there and become oily. So that's why I chose to do that last. And I go ahead and add some shadows and, you know, coloring and taking down that white that I apply there. And here I'm adding yellow and orange to blend that out a little bit more. You guys may not be, <laughs> you may not be able to see it, but it's there. It's like a little pasty yellow and orange. So here I am now using a pen. Everywhere I already added black eyeshadow. Now I'm using an ink liner to sketch. This is not to be perfect. This is just to add a little bit more depth. So where I've already smoked out, where it's already diffused, when I add the ink, you see it come through, but I just didn't want it to be so sharp. So I'm just sketching it like it's more of like a scratch on the mask, not like perfect lines. You guys see what I'm doing here? Just like zigzagging and not making it perfect and I think it makes it pop as well um where the black that I already had on my skin it was already diffused and because I shaded all around it to give it a little more to stand out a little bit more um so I was just adding a little bit more detail I was gonna go in y'all like I said but I was like let me relax okay um but I still thought this look was still pretty <laughs> And I went in with black lipstick. I feel like Halloween is the best time to use all of your uh, non-conventional everyday lipstick colors. Um, and we're going to get the best use of this black lipstick this Halloween, okay? <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm just adding more black. And I add that more inner in my lips. So when I'm like taking pictures, if I open my mouth, you don't really, you just don't see pink. <laughs> Um, because sometimes it takes away from the look. It's like, hello, let's get it together. And then I felt like my eye look wasn't completed. So I added black instead because I wasn't going to. I was just going to add a little bit more orange and yellow. But I was like, it felt, I felt like I needed that black there. So that's basically what I did. I added the pencil and then I smoked it out. And I also um, just right there, I added a little outer outer wing. Is that what I want to call it? Yeah, a little outer wing on the inner corners of my eyes. And my inner corners are not even. So the blend of yellow and orange, I use that on my cheeks as a fake blush. Also to diffuse the black liner. And then I'm adding a little more shadows on my temples. And I'm going to do that also um, on my forehead like at the and my hairline. And I use black initially and then I go to fade it out with like a like a very deep orange, you'll see. Um, because I didn't want it to be so black. I wanted to just be just like that, very diffused, um, just not perfect. Uh, because his mask, sometimes when you look at it, it's not perfect. He be getting into fights, some scratches. I was gonna add scratches. That's something you could do as well, but I forgot, honestly. Um, you can use eyeliner to just draw like X's and it can give the illusion of, um, scratches, but this is the finished look. I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. Um, cause I still wanted this to be easy cause knowing me and this character, I would have done, I would have been extremely detailed and I promised y'all simple looks, simple, fun, Halloween, pretty glam looks. And that is it for this look. You see me tomorrow.